Hello Booktube! As I mentioned in my uh, weekly reads video earlier this afternoon, um, I decided to do a try a chapter tag um, this evening. Um, I ended up bailing on what I was reading uh, on Thursday, and so instead of starting a new book, I decided to read the first chapter or introduction of five um, works of history, well technically it's four works of history and one memoir, um, that are in one of my Amazon wish lists. I have a number, um, two of which are book centric, one is uh, the wish list itself which is mostly um, fiction and cookbooks and uh, manga and the other one is research, which is exclusively nonfiction. And I started the wish list and I titled it research, generally because at the time, most of the nonfiction that I wanted was for research purposes. I have since grown to love um, nonfiction for more than just research. So anyway, the five books I picked out are The Last Campaign, Sherman, Geronimo, and The War for America by H.W. Brands. Oh, and here we go. That's, yeah, one of these days I need to try to do a bit more with editing than just this. Sorry about that. But anyway, so this is the history of the pursuit of Geronimo. The second book was The Mongol Storm, uh, Making and Breaking Empires in the Medieval ne Near East by Nicholas Morton. Well, that one's a bit better looking. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. The third one is Indivisible, Daniel Webster and the Birth of American Nationalism by Joel Richard Paul. Okay, the fourth one is Muppets in Moscow, the unexpected crazy true story of making Sesame Street in Russia by Natasha Lent Rogoff. And the fifth book is China After Mao, The Rise of a Superpower by Frank Decotter. There we go. So, anyway, so, okay, so, The Mongol Storm is basically about um, how the Mongols uh, and the Mongol invasions affected the uh, medieval Mideast. Um, Indivisible is about the formation of American um, nationalism. Uh, Muppets is basically a memoir of uh, Rogoff's time as the executive producer of the um, so uh, the Russian version of Sesame Street, and China After Mao is basically the last forty years of Chinese history. Um, so I read the first chapter or introductions of all five of them. And I liked them, which um, kind of defeats the purpose of wanting to try to kick some of them out without actually buying them. But I like them, and I would like to have all of them at some point, although maybe not in the too near future. Um, again, I'm pretty maxed out for November, although that's never stopped me before. So maybe in December I might pick one of these up, or I could probably and I should probably wait until the trade paperbacks come out because they will be cheaper, or look, wait for a used copy, but anyway. So how I would rank the five, I think my fifth would be um, The Last Campaign. 
by H.W. Brands. Um, so the first chapter is basically a quick biography of Geronimo up to his mid-adulthood or not quite say middle age but his mid-young adulthood which was fairly good I mean again I liked all of them all five um, but um, I don't know it's just I didn't quite like it as well as I did the others number Four would be Muppets in Moscow. Um, I mean, I like the preface or the introduction and then the very brief first chapter, which maybe might have been a bit of a problem, but it was quite good. Um, I would read more. Number three was... I want to say the Mongol Storm, which I quite liked. I would really like to read it. Um, yeah, I'm pro pretty sure I will pick this one up fairly soon. Number two was um, Indivisible. Um, I really liked it. Um, it took a bit of time for the first chapter to really get to the point and I'm not entirely sure about some of the narration choices but I liked it and really three and two could be interchangeable and so my favorite is uh was China After Mao uh, by Frank DeCotter um eh, I quite liked what I read um although Looking up Decatur's Wikipedia page, it left me some pause. Um, he's fairly controversial in uh, 20th century China studies, but I, mean, I quite liked what I read, and it does seem he has some uh, very interesting and perhaps controversial uh, comments on um, the last 40, 50 years of Chinese history. So that's... My rankings and we'll see when exactly I get around to uh, picking any of them up uh, probably won't be this month um, for sure because um, I already have quite a quite a large number of histories coming into my collection um, and ooh. So yeah, it might be uh, in December at the earliest, but maybe into the new year uh, for whenever I pick any of them up. So anyway, book two, that's all I've got for today. Um, thank you. Have a great rest of your evening and weekend since this is Friday and I usually, and I don't film on the weekends and I will see you on Monday. So until then, book two, thank you and stay safe.